Hi, I'm Manny Pedroso from Manny's Photography. And I'm here to talk about a travel kit that I take to Europe when I go to Europe. Uh, I've kind of evolved into this, what I do now, from the first time I went to Europe. I've been to Europe several times. And the first time I went, I went to Germany to visit my brother. And when I went, I brought a, a Canon 1D Mark III, which is a professional Canon. It's the big one. It's, you know, got a... Uh, the double grip and all that, and it's a very big camera and very heavy. I also brought 50 millimeter lens, 85 millimeter lens, 24 to 105 millimeter lens, uh, 17 to 40 millimeter lens, and just to make sure, I brought the, the 100 to 400 millimeter lens that Canon has. Three of those lenses are L lenses, which means they were heavy. Uh, the whole bag together was very heavy and very hard to carry through the airport and I'm, I was really sorry that I brought all that gear that time and decided that I would start thinking about bringing less. Well, since then, I've really become somewhat of a minimalist. I've gone from carrying DSLRs, Canon DSLRs, to carrying a, a Sony H6000, which is a mirrorless camera and much lighter than those cameras and much smaller and easier to lug around airports and carry around cities and just makes your uh, photography much more pleasurable because you're not being weighed down by a lot of heavy gear all the time. So what I did was for this for this trip that I'm going on this year I bought this which this is called this is a camera insert that I got on Amazon.com and this goes inside one of your existing backpacks and in this you put all your gear it has uh, padded compartments. Uh, it keeps your stuff safe, keeps your stuff uh, divided. And in, the, in this right now, I have a flash. This is made by a company called Godox. I really like their flash. This is a TT350. Fits really nice on my little Sony A6000. Has a guide number 36, which is, is fairly powerful for a small flash like this. Takes two AA batteries, shoots high speed sync. Very nice little flash. I also have a 60 millimeter Sigma lens. Very nice, very sharp lens. I'm, I'm still debating whether or not I'm actually gonna take this one because I have another lens that's on my camera that may be enough and I may not need to take this one as well. Uh, this is the only prime lens that I have. Then I have two the two uh, zoom lenses. One is the Sony 18-105. Very nice lens. Get very nice images with this. The first year I brought my Sony A6000. This is the only lens I brought with it. So I guess I'm going back and forth between the minimalism. Uh, this here is a 10 to 18 millimeter lens by Sony. Very nice, very sharp, ultra wide, so you can get those ultra wide shots. So really with these two lenses here, I could probably do everything I need to do when I go to Europe and not need any other lens. But I'm gonna bring one more that's on my camera right now and I'll talk about that one later. In here, I have battery chargers. And here I have a Sony RX100 Mark III. Very nice little camera. Love this camera. It's a great backup camera. It shoots raw, shoots in all the different modes, has a pop-up viewfinder you can pop up. So if you want to, if it's bright light, you can look through the viewfinder and see what you're looking at. Very nice little extra, and it fits very nicely in that compartment right there. Okay, so that's my gear that I'm going to bring, and I'm probably not going to bring this 60 millimeter. I'm probably going to put something else in that little slot there, uh, maybe some cables or something. Okay, besides that, I bring this little sling bag. It's made by Low Pro. Has a little compartment here that you can put your iPad in, uh, and maybe some other things. It has a nice little compartment here. I got my uh, Peak Design camera strap in there. You can put a couple of more lenses into, in here if you wanted to as you're walking around during the day. And right here is where I keep my Sony a6000. And on it, I have the Sigma 30mm uh, DCDN f1.4 lens. 
The reason I like this lens is that it has that f1.4, so it gives me that low light capability, which my other two lenses that I just showed you both max out at f4, so you don't get that low light uh, shooting that you can get with this lens. This lens is also very sharp. At 30 millimeters on an APS-C sensor, it gives you a field of view of 45 millimeters. So you can actually, if I could only bring one lens with me, I would bring this one, because it gives you a fairly good uh, field of view for shooting in cities and stuff and getting cityscapes, uh, landscapes as well, but it also shoots people very well, doesn't distort them like uh, a more wide angle lens would. Really like this lens a lot. I, it's really probably my favorite lens right now. So this fits really nicely right in here. I just shove it in here and I can just sling this over my back and, and, and with my backpack I can carry this as well. Made by Low Pro. As I said, nice little sling bag and I use that whenever when I'm walking around I use the backpack with the insert when I'm going for going through airports that's what the purpose of the back with the insert now what I do with the insert and this is the backpack that I bought uh, it's a Under Armour backpack I bought it in uh, Garmisch Germany about eight years ago really nice backpack uh, and what you do is you just take this backpack you know, any size, any good, size, decent sized backpack. This isn't a huge backpack. And you take your insert and you just drop it in to the backpack. Goes in fine. Sits in the bottom of the backpack. And you know, you'll have to determine what size backpack you need. But you see, all my gear is in there. And I have all this extra room from like here to here to put any, maybe a change of clothes, some other cords and things like that. It has pockets on it, so you get a backpack with this kind of these kind of features, and you've created a system that allows you to carry your, your camera gear as long as you're willing to be a little minimalist and some extra gear as well. And it looks nothing. It doesn't look like a camera bag. Nobody knows there's, ca there's camera gear in here. Also, this has a little pocket here, so I can just slip this in my MacBook Air. And so now I have all my photo gear in this backpack, which works very nicely. Um, well, that's, that's what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about minim minimizing your gear, bringing just enough gear to do the kind of photo photography that you want to do, and being able to not break your back doing it. So uh, I would appreciate it if you'd give me a like and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm working on building, creating more content. I'm pretty new on YouTube. I'm still figuring out how to, how to do these videos in a way that's interesting to people. And I hope this interested you. Thank you very much.